What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kai and in today's video I'm gonna break down how to use a food scale. But first, cue the damn intro. Alright, so I want to start off by bringing down the different settings the food scale is going to have. So when you turn on the food scale, it's going to be by ounces. Okay, and you can change that setting depending on what you're weighing. You just hit unit and that'll change it to grams. If you got to weigh something in grams, you can do fluid ounces. You can also do it by milliliters. You're mainly only going to do ounces. You're going to use grams and sometimes you'll use fluid ounces depending on, on what you're weighing. Also another quick tip, I use a measuring cup to weigh out a lot of things like rice, a couple of strawberries, depending on what you're weighing and, and how that's in your MyFitnessPal. I'll scoop it and I'll place it on a plate. I won't weigh it because a cup is a cup. You can weigh it if you'd like, but I, I just go the simplest form and just scoop a cup and roll with that. Also, I use uh, measuring spoons, depending on, you know, if you're using, let's say, peanut butter and you want to use a tablespoon of peanut butter, you scoop that. Don't use an actual spoon because you don't know what si serving sizes those are. These are more exact serving sizes, so you're going to get the calorie exact with these here. Okay, so these are the things I would recommend. This, the cup, and your food scale. Okay, so those three things, if you're going to weigh out your food, if you're going to measure your food, if you're going to count your calories, these things are pretty much essential. Uh, they're going to help you out a lot. All right, I'm going to show you a few examples on a few things that I weigh normally. Okay, so the scale's at zero. You're usually going to put a bowl or a plate or whatever you're going to use to put the food on. You're going to put that on the scale. Okay, that's obviously going to change the number on the scale. You don't want that there. So you're going to hit tear. That's going to bring you back to zero. Okay, and that plate is not being weighed anymore. All right, so let's say I wanted to weigh some chicken, some grilled chicken. Also, another quick tip is I usually weigh my food cooked and not raw because that's just easy to track and stay consistent with. Because if you go out to eat or if you eat somewhere else, the food's usually going to be cooked. You're not cooking that food. So don't weigh it raw. Stay consistent to the things that you're weighing. Make sure you're weighing them exactly the same every time you, you weigh them. So when you, you plug it in, you know it's the same thing that you plugged in last time. So I weigh my, my chicken. I'll put the chicken on there. All right, and that gives me 3.2 ounces. I'll just plug that right into my fitness pal. I'll put 3.2 ounces and that'll give me the calories in my fitness pal. You can also weigh it by uh, grams. Okay, so you have 88 grams of chicken. All right, you can just plug that into my fitness pal by grams. I just like to stick to the ounces. It's more consistent that way. All right, and like I said, I usually just use a cup of rice. Like if I was to weigh my rice, you could weigh it, but I just like using a cup and that's my measuring method, and I'll put a cup of rice in my fitness pal. But you can also weigh it. So let's say you were to weigh this chicken with the rice, okay, you wanna clear the chicken off because obviously you've already accounted for that. So you're gonna hit tear again, and that'll clear off the scale. Again, not the plate, nor the chicken is being weighed anymore. Okay, so you can go right ahead, put the rice on there. Usually rice is measured by grams, so you have 125 grams of rice. Okay, so the rice is the only thing that's being measured here. Okay, so you have the chicken already measured, um, the plate's obviously off, and the rice is 125 grams. Okay, so you can also weigh it that way. All right, and same thing goes for if you're weighing uh, in fluid ounces. So let's say you were to weigh a cup of juice, which I don't normally drink. All right, that's fluid ounces. You're gonna tear that cup off. Make sure that cup is cleared. All right, so if we look at the nutritional facts here, the serving size, eight fluid ounces, and that's 70 calories per serving size. Okay, so we're gonna weigh out uh, eight fluid ounces, all right, on the scale here. All right, there you go, that's eight fluid ounces, and you know exactly how many calories you're drinking. So you're not guessing. Um, this is a rather small cup. Some people think that eight fluid ounces is a cup, okay? but it depends on what cup you're using because I have two cups here. This is obviously a lot more than eight fluid ounces seeing that this is eight fluid ounces. So if you're having a cup of this, you're obviously having like two serving sizes in this cup. So be aware, just make sure you're weighing things out. All right, and here are the measuring spoons. You use this when you're measuring, let's say peanut butter, or if you're gonna measure anything, obviously anything that in my fitness pal says tablespoon or teaspoon, okay? Make sure you have the right one tablespoon is tbs tablespoon and then teaspoon is obviously tsp okay 
So there's a difference between the two. Don't get these two confused. They're two completely different sizes. You make sure you're not using a tablespoon when it says teaspoon because you're going to be going over your calories quite a bit. Okay. So let's say you were to weigh this sugar and you want a teaspoon of sugar. Weigh that out. Okay. Make sure it's not a heaping spoon because that's obviously going to be a different amount of calories. Okay. So make sure it's flat. Okay. You just shake it on top of here. Boom, and you have yourself a teaspoon. Just pour that in your coffee, pour that in whatever. I don't really recommend using refined sugar all that much, but if you are gonna use it, make sure it's being measured out, okay? All right, and one last thing I wanna show you before we end this video. Okay, so let's say I'm, I'm weighing this uh, egg substitute here. I wanna take the cap off because that cap is gonna be accounted for. Okay, you take that cap off, you put that right on here, all right? And if we look at the nutritional facts, this isn't gonna zoom in. So take my word for it, 46 grams here is a serving size. So we wanna obviously go by grams because that's what we're measuring. We're measuring by grams. That's always how you wanna do it. You wanna look at the nutritional facts, uh, see what, what it's being measured by. If it's measured by grams, most things on nutritional facts are gonna be measured by grams. So you're just gonna put that right back into grams. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear that, make sure that goes back to zero, okay? So this is being accounted for. So the weight on this is being accounted for. Okay, so let's say I'm cooking my eggs here, okay? I usually crack like one or two whole eggs and then I'll, I'll fill it up with egg substitute to make it a bigger meal because egg substitutes are very, very good in calories. So we got that teared off. What we're gonna do is we know that one serving size is 46 grams. So we're gonna pour some into there. We're gonna come back here. And whatever we're negative, okay, because obviously we took the liquid out of here and put it in there. So we're negative 31 grams, okay? So there's 31 grams in there. So we need 46, 45, probably gonna go over a tad bit. Let's see if I can nail this. 48. See, so we went over a little bit, but when you type it in, you, you type it in 48 grams. So when you're putting it in your MyFitnessPal, you just put in 48 grams and call it a day, okay? So that'll account for one serving size plus the extra two grams, okay? So that'll account for it. So you don't have to worry that much. You just put in 48 grams because that's what you're having. But that's it, guys. There's no secret to weighing food. It's really just doing it. Clients get very overwhelmed when I tell them what they have to do. Um, it's really not that hard. Very simple. It takes one extra step. Instead of getting your cereal, pour it into the bowl. You're just gonna put the bowl on the scale and then pour your cereal into the bowl. They account for what you're eating, that's it. There's no secret to it. It's literally one extra step. It's gonna take you one extra minute to get the scale, put the bowl on the scale, and then track that food number down, okay? And if you have any further questions on how to weigh your food, just let me know in the comments below. I'm more than willing to help out with that. My next video is gonna be more on uh, how to plug in the food in MyFitnessPal and break down the MyFitnessPal app. So I'll probably touch base again on how to weigh a few more things and then plug them into my fitness pal. But I wanted to make this video a little bit shorter, a little bit more down to the point and just use it just for how to weigh the food. And then my fitness pal, I'll break down in a different video. Okay, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel for that video, which will be coming out probably next week. I usually come out with a video every week. Make sure to support your boy. Leave a comment below. Like this video if, if you thought it was helpful. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for all my further videos. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.